Sadly, not all snacks are created equal. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 junk food and drink fails. For this list, we're taking a look at various snacks and beverages that made us question our dietary choices. While we may call these fails, we acknowledge that when it comes to snack foods, morbid curiosity means that they still hold some appeal. But whether it's boneheaded marketing, failed attempt to cash in on a fad, or even an intentionally odd treat that simply went one step too far, these snacks all feel ill-conceived. How do you even drink that? Because it's delicious. What? what? Number 20. Pringles Restaurant Cravers – Mozzarella Sticks and Marinara we love a good serving of mozzarella sticks and marinara sauce as much as the next person, but did we really need them in the form of a potato chip? Pringles certainly thought so. The chip brand once launched a line of flavors dubbed Restaurant Cravers, focusing on classic entrees and appetizers like onion blossom and Mexican layered dip. Unfortunately, mozzarella sticks and marinara doesn't translate nearly as well to chip form. The joy of mozzarella sticks is rooted in texture. Why disrespect the cheesy, gooey nature of this timeless appetizer by turning it into a powder-coated chip? That's just blasphemy. Number 19. Pepsi AM When it comes to revolutionizing the concept of the morning beverage, there have been more than a few spectacularly bad ideas. Lots of people struggle to face the day without a morning dose of caffeine. Hoping to cash in on this demand, and maybe even convert some coffee drinkers, Pepsi unveiled Pepsi AM in 1989. To be clear, this wasn't some revolutionary new type of beverage. It was good old-fashioned Pepsi Cola with the caffeine level jacked way up. You're, you're all hopped up on the caffeine. Well, I feel like I'm talking a little faster, but it's very hard to tell. If your stomach is churning at the thought of starting your day with soda, you are not alone. It was discontinued just one year later. Number 18. Lay's Wow Chips It's amazing how far some companies will go just so they can plaster their food with healthy phrases like sugar-free or zero calories. You know they're fat-free? Only half the calories. Holy cow! Unfortunately, changing a tried-and-true recipe is risky business, as Frito-Lay learned the hard way with their Wow Chips lineup. In 1998, Frito-Lay made special bags of Lay's, Doritos, and Ruffles that were fat-free. But this supposed benefit came at an immense cost. Since the chips were made with Olestra instead of regular cooking oil, customers not only digested fewer calories than regular Lay's, they also began suffering from stomach cramps and diarrhea. Around 2004, Frito-Lay renamed the lineup as Light with a slightly new formula. Number 17. Hubba Bubba Bubble Jug Wow. The Hubba Bubba brand has certainly put out some strange products beyond their standard gum. Some have really resonated with consumers like bubble tape, but the Hubba Bubba Bubble Jug? Not so much. These miniature containers housed a powder that would turn into gum when chewed. In other words, it was kind of like a Frankenstein pixie sticks. What makes the product off-putting is that you're basically chewing pure sugar to the point where it becomes a homogenous chewy substance. And while the gum that you wind up with is basically the same old hubba bubba, that initial mouthful of chunky powder is a serious turnoff. Number 16. Budweiser Extra Can we just keep it to one vice at a time? In the early 2000s, when energy drinks were all the rage, the quote-unquote king of beers decided to jump on the bandwagon by pumping a variation of their ever-popular beer full of caffeine. Boasting 6.6% alcohol and a hearty dose of caffeine, the beverage was certainly sending your body mixed messages. Leaving aside the fact that numerous studies have proven caffeinated alcoholic beverages to be incredibly dangerous, this brew was just downright disgusting. Oh, they also like to refer to it as Budweiser B to the E, like someone's deeply uncool uncle. You know, just to make you cringe twice as hard while drinking it. Number 15. Kid Cuisine Don't get us wrong, we can enjoy a frozen TV dinner every now and again, but kid cuisine has always been a guessing game when it comes to meals. As if the serving size isn't enough to give you buyer's remorse, a common problem with the meals was the fact that the food so often ended up leaving their designated areas. Show of hands, how often did you find part of your melted brownie mixed in with your corn or macaroni and cheese? The commercials may have shown steamy, sizable meals, but what we actually got were poorly packaged products that were often ruined before we got to the microwave. Gooey Shrek-shaped mac and cheese and buggy swamp pudding. Number 14. True Blood For starters, can you say false advertising? This carbonated beverage is not in fact blood, human or otherwise. It is, however, a tie-in to the hit HBO series True Blood and the blood beverage that the vamps in the show consume to quench their insatiable thirst. Don't drink the blood. 
For die-hard fans of the series, this remarkably accurate-looking replica is sure to get their hearts pounding. Unfortunately, the marketing department decided to treat this beverage as more of a collector's item than a viable product, slapping on a hefty price tag that scared away many would-be faux vampires. Oh, and did we mention that most bloodsuckers in the show couldn't stand the stuff? Not exactly a great endorsement. Number 13. Kato Milk Chocolate Bars How do you like your chocolate bars? You like them loaded with peanuts or crispy rice? Drizzled in caramel? Coating cookie bits? Well then, Tato Milk Chocolate Bars are not the decadent sweet you've been searching for. While most chocolate companies offer a variety of products in which chocolate is combined with peanut butter, wafers, or other candy, Tato chooses to load its chocolate bars with its own cheese and onion crisps. We're no stranger to sweet and savory treats like Ben & Jerry's Late Night Snack Ice Cream, but chocolate with chips that taste like cheese and onions? Count us out. Number 12. Maxwell Ready to Drink Coffee Introducing a beverage that nobody needed. Making coffee simple. Add hot water to ground coffee beans in a filter and voila! Alternatively, stop at a drive through on your way to work. If you're really pressed for time and don't care about quality or taste whatsoever, instant coffee can be made, well, instantly. With these options available, taking coffee and putting it in a cardboard carton to then be poured out into mugs and reheated in the microwave had no justifiable reason to exist. In the end, it wasn't quicker or more convenient, and it certainly did not deliver a superior taste to a fresh brewed pot. You know the secret of my cappuccinos, muchachos? You know what? 100% goat milk. Number 11. Jimmy Dean Pancakes and Sausage on a Stick We all have our own way to start the day. Some do it with a hearty helping of bacon, eggs, and French toast, some a simple cup of coffee, and others something in between. But have you ever wished your sausage were wrapped in a big fluffy pancake? No? Well, Jimmy Dean went ahead and fulfilled that dream anyway with their pancake and sausage on a stick lineup. We don't have as much of a problem with the concept as we do with some of the flavors it carries. French toast is okay, but blueberry seems like a bit much. As for chocolate, hashtag keep those sweets away from our meats. Number 10. Vio It was only a matter of time before the leading soft drink manufacturer made an appearance. Vio is a flavored carbonated milk beverage, which the Coca-Cola company introduced to American markets in 2009. To the shock of nobody who wasn't working for Coca-Cola, it was deemed a failure and soon pulled from production. In their defense, such beverages do succeed elsewhere in the world. In Japan, they're actually quite common. This is simply a case of trying to push a market way outside of its comfort zone. That being said, an updated VO has since been introduced in India in 2016, where the product has seemingly fared better. Number 9. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Pies The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have had their faces slapped on a wealth of food products over the years. From cereal to cookies and even Chef Boyardee, marketing efforts seem to suggest that the iconic turtles are fond of more than just pizza. However, not every TMNT-endorsed product is created equal with one of the worst offenders being Hostess's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pies. While the vanilla pudding filling is enough to sell any kid, one look at the pie outside of the packaging will make you question what exactly you're putting in your mouth. They couldn't just make them turtle-shaped cupcakes, huh? Number 8. Coca-Cola Black How do you connect with trendy young adults? How about making a mysterious black edition of your cola? Sure, that's great and all, but if you really want to get the people talking, you better drop a letter and randomly capitalize the K. Silly branding aside, Coca-Cola Black just didn't work. Why? It's Coca-Cola and something called Coffee Essence. Because its whole gimmick was that it was coffee flavored. Consider it Coca-Cola's own attempt to capture the coffee drinking market. It kind of reminds me of an... Did <laughs> 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 he just put that onto the floor? They gave it a sophisticated looking bottle that screamed flavored coffee and hoped to connect with the masses. Connect, they did not. It earned a few devotees, but mostly people preferred to keep their coffee and cola separate. It only lasted two years. Number 7. The Thanksgiving Dinner Holiday Pack Jones Soda has managed to coexist with the heavyweights by carving out a niche for themselves with their unique photography-based bottle designs and willingness to embrace odd flavors. Yes, they offer up standards like root beer and cream soda, but they also do unusual flavors like peanut butter and jelly, chocolate and fufu berry. It's the specialty in holiday releases where things get really odd. The 2007 Gingerbread Man flavor? That we can get behind. This Thanksgiving sampler? Not so much. The 2005 National Pack comes with the following flavors. Turkey and gravy, Brussels sprouts with prosciutto, cranberry, wild herb stuffing, and pumpkin pie. The 2006 variety added an antacid flavor. Yikes, 
not exactly refreshing. Number 6. Ghostbusters Key Lime Slime Twinkies Speaking of Hostess, the company behind Twinkies has gone through some bizarre flavors over the past decades, especially when it comes to cross-promotional products. We can tolerate flavors like orange cream pop, peppermint, and even pumpkin spice, but there was something about their Ghostbusters Twinkies that really threw us off. In addition to a white fudge marshmallow flavor, Hostess put out Key Lime Slime Twinkies as a promotional deal for the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot. We suppose the Key Lime flavor fits with Twinkies' cakey nature, but something about that green filling made these snacks seriously unappealing and oddly familiar. It just looks wrong. Hey, where's the cream filling? <laughs> Number 5. Orbits Generally speaking, feeling a solid object hit your lips while you're drinking is cause for alarm. Is it a bug? Did someone mistake your beer for an empty and put their cigarette butt in there? With Orbitz, there was no mistake, apart from it generally being a bad idea. Produced by the Clearly Food and Beverage Company of Canada, this unique non-carbonated, non-alcoholic drink was advertised as a, quote, texturally enhanced alternative beverage. Released in 1997 and disappearing soon after because apparently people don't like to find jelly balls in their drink, it remains a novel, albeit misguided, footnote in the history of beverages. There's one ball left. Here we go. <laughs> Number 4. Ranch Dressing Soda Like Jones, Lester's Fixins is known for taking soda pop to strange and often exciting new places. This soda is without a doubt meant as a novelty, but it makes you stop and wonder, how far is too far? It smells like <laughs> straight up puke. Some of their concoctions are bizarre, but nonetheless inspire a desire to give them a try. Take bacon, PB&J, and pumpkin pie. Ranch flavor, on the other hand? The mere thought of it makes your stomach do somersaults. Based on their advertising, weird is clearly the angle they were going for. Lester let loose on this one. With this particular flavor, we wish they hadn't been so successful in achieving that goal. The smell is apparently repulsive, and the flavor has been described as, at best, unremarkable. Number 3. Easy Squirt Ketchup Most people agree that ketchup is already perfect in its own right. Whether you're using it for your fries, burgers, or a massive plate of crispy tater tots, ketchup arguably makes everything taste better. But what happens when you decide to mess with an already winning formula? You wind up with the sort of failed product line that Heinz had on their hands with the Easy Squirt Ketchup in the early 2000s. For a limited time, kids could drizzle a rainbow of ketchup on their food. Unfortunately, the color just made the food look less appetizing. To adults, at least. Yeah, it was still ketchup, but its appearance did not sit well with customers. Bug on the button. <laughs> Shrek, you eat some funny stuff. It's just green. Number 2. Shrek Twinkies Yep, we knew something felt off about those Ghostbusters Twinkies, and this was the reason. In 2001, dozens of food companies had their own cross-promotional deal to make disgusting Shrek-themed products. But of them all, Shrek Twinkies were arguably the worst. They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry? No. Oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hairs. No. For starters, the green filling was unsettling. And it didn't help that the front of the box proudly advertised ogre green creamy filling. If you were one of the poor unfortunate souls who bought a package, you probably realized your mistake after opening one of these foul sweets and discovered the Twinkie looked worse than what was on the box. And to think, they brought it back to promote Shrek 2. Oh, it's disgusting! Guards! Guards! I order you to get them out of my sight! Now! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Cocaine This drink promised serious levels of energy and was not afraid to invoke highly addictive illicit drugs to make that clear. The can even featured a font that looked like bumpy lines of white powder. The marketing was so problematic, the FDA actually had it banned on the grounds that Redux Beverages was, quote, illegally marketing the drink as both a street drug alternative and a dietary supplement. We're just asking the business owners to take this drink off their shelves. They compromised and rebranded it as No Name before eventually reverting back to the original name. Branding aside, this drink is also a bad idea for consumers. The caffeine and taurine levels are drastically higher than the competition, so much so that doctors have publicly warned against drinking it. Do you agree with our picks? 
check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.